Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're playing the demo version of Backpack Battles. The game has not released yet, but you'll find the demo on Steam. You just have to search for it. I find this game very enjoyable, and that's why I'm doing a second video on it. It's pretty addictive. It's it's fun. Uh, you got to think a lot. You, the placement of stuff in your backpack, uh, you got to really be Johnny on the spot with. We're going to get into a game right now. We're playing the, the Reaper class. The demo only allows for two classes to play at this time. You've got the Ranger, which I'm only gold level, and then you got the Reaper, which I am 44 platinum level. All right, so let's just play a game, a ranked game. We want to buy, it's always good to see the uh, broom, especially if it's on discount. Uh, we want to get a garlic because that helps uh, generate... Uh, it helps generate the uh, uh, the armor values. Uh, every th four seconds, you gain three armor, and we want the fry pan. That fry pan is going to allow us to merge the fry pan and the broom together to make a shovel. And the shovel is pretty important because it digs up random items each round that you can either sell or keep. Uh, we've used we've got four um, gold left. Uh, what we're going to do is just going to go to the first battle. Oh, we're going to carry over those four gold. So they basically do it. The person that we're fighting against is doing the, uh, basically the same strategy. The same, the basically identical strategies we were doing. And the only reason why they beat me uh, was uh, because they had the stone, which did a, of that. The difference between, look, our hit points was that stone they threw. They were basically identical, almost identical uh backpacks all right it's always good to get more bag space so we'll pull that over right off we're gonna move the bags like this actually we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do that for now then we're gonna move this over to here we'll move this over to there all right Okay, so we got nine gold. We're going to pull the one arm bandit. It's like gambling, like a slot machine. And you pull it and hope to get good items that show up. And again, just garbage. All right, so we've got a banana and more bag space. We'll take the bag space. We'll buy the banana. The banana is really good to, to get because it heals you over time. Every five seconds you heal. All right, that looks good. We'll start the battle. Well, they don't really have the best. I mean, they've got two weapons. That's that's what they got going for them is the two weapons. Early on, that two weapons, uh, what they call I call a weenie build, works well. But over time, it, it you know it's it it doesn't. It, it's not the best. You know, uh, later rounds, it's not the best strategy. All right, more bag space. We'll take that. We can now move the shovel. Because what we want to do is the coffin, every time something activates in the coffin, I send one debuff, one poison tick to my opponent. That's why I'm, I'm trying to get everything in there, in that coffin, so that the ticks, the ticks start to add up. See the debuff ticks down here? He's got four of them now, five of them six of them that's what I'm counting on that's where the majority of my damage comes from is those is those ticks more bag space all right so we got seven gold let's hope we oh okay we got some good stuff here that's good we can for the banana uh, can I get it I can't get it there I can get it um, here all right and then the shovel dug up okay we can put this here because i mean this uh only takes one spot and every 3.5 seconds i gain magic uh uh tick uh but it also will send a debuff and then this uh chip diamond or chip ruby i'll put it in the shovel what with the chip ruby in the shovel on hit life steal 10 percent chance or 10 life steal 10 percent on damage dealt all right so let's go to the next one 
All right, this looks good. I mean, they've only got one weapon. Like I said, that those weenie weapons are not really good to be using this late in the in the rounds. That person should have got rid of them. Um, well, they should have got rid of those weenie that weenie weapon that 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 before now. I mean, that's why that one that person suffered on that battle. Okay, more backpack space is always good. Pull the band. Oh, this is what we're looking for. This weapon right here. So let's sell. This is what the shovel dug up. I'm at six. All right, so I can, oh, let's delete. Okay, my eight, get rid of a banana, which gives me the 10. All right, we definitely want this weapon. Yeah. All right, so we got no gold. So we're now high on stamina usage, but that should be fine. We don't have much healing now, so we're just gonna need to try to do some raw damage with the new with the new weapon and the shovel is what we're not counting on the debuffs at this point we're, we're counting on just doing draw damage with the weapons that we've chosen all right i don't need more bag space at this point there's nothing in the store that's good nothing in the store that's good oh my goodness okay so this one's good We'll put that right here. Always having a heal potion is good. We'll carry over the four gold for the next round. See how well we do that. That little heal potion will cleanse us of debuffs too when we take it. So if the debuffs get out of control, then um, we can just scarf down the potion and it, and it heals us. You know, that's what's nice about it. It gives us a jolt of healing. Oh, some more bag space, but that is only two. And that, the dragon is only five. That's half its value, the dragon egg. All right. And then we definitely want mushroom. And we want to put this up. Well, I guess that's the best place to put it. All right. So we got another mushroom down here. We'll place that. The rock will sell that just so that we can get another pull. Ooh, and we got a sale on the pineapple. The pineapple is one of the best items for healing in the game. Because every four seconds you gain three heal, but plus you get a spike, which is a buff. All right, so we're looking good. This is this is not bad at this point in the... I mean, we're in the platinum rank. Wow, this person's got some crazy setup. The hammer, using the hammer setup, this... The hammer's usually good early game, like first few opening rounds if you're able to get it, but it does not perform well in later rounds. All right, so this round, this store round is, it only sells you three items that are unique to your class. I always go with the hex blade. I'll explain to you why, uh, but I'm gonna have to put it here. I'll have to move this up here. Because the hex blade, any weapon that is in front of the hex blade, I think I've got to actually put it. I think I've got to put the hex blade over here. Yeah. So any weapon in front of the hex blade, the hex blade works at. Oh, actually, I'd be better off putting it here. Because I think the hex blade has. Oh, a two. It's got a 2.2 second cooldown, so that will send a debuff, the poison, to my opponent. Plus, it's covering these two weapons. And while they're being covered by the hex blade, they got a 1% accuracy increase and a 1% crit increase, depending on how many debuffs the guy on the other side has. And because I'm running basically a debuff build, you know, sending debuffs or uh, poison ticks to them, this this is going to really work. Okay, so I'm gonna perch. Oh, this is good too. The blood am amulet's always good because it gives you two vampiric and it gives you 20 max health. But this thing's even better because when you apply that to a weapon, when that's applied to a weapon, when the person's below 30 health, they deal 50, oh, I deal 50% more damage. So now it's trying to fit in. I guess I'll, I'll get this uh, pouch here for potions. The pouch is unique. Each bag space, you can get unique bag spaces, but this one is, um, First potion inside consumes gain again a random buff. All right, so we got one more round before the dragon hatches. We got no more gold, so we're just gonna go next. 
All right, this guy's got a pretty good setup. He's got a lot of weapons. He's got, oh, he's got three weapons. Plus his special item that he could buy for his class. That's... And now the dragon should... Okay, so the hex blade also will cover the dragon. See, the hex blade? Because the dragon's considered a weapon. So the hex blade now covers all three of these weapons. So they get the bonuses of that blade for the debuffs that I apply. Okay, so we'll put that there. We'll put this back up here. Uh, this, we'll sell it. This is what the shovel dug up this time. We'll sell it to give us a, a free pull. We'll put this here. Now, when it comes to potions, if they're above each other, if a potion is above another potion, they kind of merge together. See this little thing that's showing a merge? And I believe when you merge it together like that, you get some bonuses when you consume the next one below it. So this uh, looks good. I'm gonna pull the cord here. Oh geez, the lamp is a good thing. Uh, every two seconds, every two seconds you gain one. So this is a good thing to put here in the coffin because that's two seconds and then any weapon give the weapon 27 damage that's above it so look the uh so yeah i mean this this is gonna work well now let's get this back in there we don't have any room for it and we've only got three points let me see if i can manipulate this bag actually i is that can i put because i think I want it, what is the 1.1? Okay, yeah, see, I want it to actually do this weapon because it's got a faster rate. But no, it's gotta be, I've gotta, I gotta keep it in the bag. No, it's gotta be in the bag to get the, the bonus for its fast refresh rate. All right, I guess I'm kinda like stuck right here. I, all right, I'm just gonna go to the next battle. I should do some damage now. With the uh, dragon, uh, three, the other two weapons, with the hex blade, the the genie lamp, it just it would get ridiculous. Yeah. All right. So now what we do is we're gonna sell the shovel because we now got this weapon. Plus, what's nice is this magic orb showed up, and you can craft. You can. Um, See that it will craft into that weapon to make it a better weapon the next time around. So what we need is bag space right now. I will take this, because even at the potion belts, you can actually put anything you want in those. I mean, they give bonuses uh, if you're using potions. I'm gonna use that there. All right, and I'm gonna pull the, pull the uh, next opponent behind there. All right, let's see what we do here. Oh, this guy's got some major weapons. Holy tamole. This guy's doing really good in the weapons department. He's got like four weapons that are upgraded to like their max tier. I don't know how some people pull that nonsense off. Oh, here's another one. This is eight to 10. This is eight. To, this is another one of those weapons. And I just did the merging of that, so we'll keep that the way it is. We're gonna pull the cord. We'll do the another belt here. Um, got nine, nine left. This healing thing is good. This is a book of light. Every two seconds cleanses one blind and heals for six every two seconds. All right. So that's a little bit more healing that we'll get. Because we're getting it from the banana, we're getting it from the pineapple, and now we'll be getting it from the book. Healing. Wow, this guy's got a lot of shields. I mean, they, I guess this person was expecting a lot of uh, melee damage with the amount of shields that they had. Oh, this is a sword we want. Oh, boy. I don't know. So this is... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna sell that. This gem here will merge into that sword, making it like a dark saber. Next round. 
That's an awesome weapon. I, I like when I see that come up. Some more bag space. I can... Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go to the next round. Wow, this guy's got some familiars, some pets that they're using. 20 debuffs, 20, so that means my weapons are doing crazy crits right now. 30, I had, let's just hide this. I had 32 debuffs on that person. That means that these crazy things were critting like crazy. All right, so let's go. We got one more round here. So see how that gem now made this into a dark saber? So now it's even more badass than it was. Just crazy. All right, so what we're looking for is just things to stick in our bags. Oh, more potions is good. I wonder if I move this to here, move this here. Yeah, that combines those. Move that to there. I don't need any more bag space. I got 13, pull the cord. Yeah, I won't be around for this to pull the cord. Oh, come on. Oh, now it's two per pull. Oh, pineapple, exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I needed. All right, let's see the last round. Let's see how well we do. Oh, wow, this guy's got the big cleaver. The big one that does a crap load of damage. And that's it, folks, right there. Now, I, I got all the wins, trophy wins that I needed to, to just get a plus 12 ranking. To add 12 to my ranking, if that's what I want to do. Or I can gamble that 12 ranking to, between a 3 and a 24 ranking, but I got to survive another 5 rounds. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to gamble it, just so that you can see... Oh, I got another saber. Okay, let's uh, do that. Let's sell that sword. We'll grab that. Because uh, when you sell the sword, if there's, they've got sockets in them, the socket will just dump out. Will this... No. All right, I got eight. All right, I've got seven. Oh, I can get a banana, and no banana will fit. Banana's three. Okay, so I could... Oh, I don't know what I want to do here. I could... No. I'm just going to go to the next round. I, I don't know. I mean... I was hoping for... More. Wow, look at that guy's inventory. So this is where you really get into the, the crazy builds. But I beat him. Oh, there's a pineapple. So we definitely want the pineapple. All right, we're gonna need bag storage. Yeah, right now this is this is not the best bag storage, but we're gonna take it because it's what it's given us. Oh, we want the coal because the uh, the dragon will turn it into a burning coal. The lump of coal will get merged and made into a burning coal, which is a better version of the coal. So let's see here. Do we want to, no, we don't want to, we don't want to spend any more. We want to go to the next round. Oh, wow. That guy's got two upgraded dragons. See, I haven't figured that, that out yet, how to upgrade your dragons to that version. Plus, he's also got them burning coal out, but I still beat him because because of the way I've got my system built. The, I mean, it's still beating them. See, that dragon just upgraded that to the burning coal. And then the burning coal, let's just look at what that does. If it's socketed in a weapon, deal six damage plus one haste. Or if it's socketed in an armor, you gain 12 armor and three resist. But right now, I'm not running any armor. So I'm just, and the dragon's considered a weapon. So I'm just going to stick that in there. All right, I'm going to buy this, put it up there. I've got 18. I'm going to pull the cord. I need bag space. I need bag space. There we go. And uh, I can buy this. This blood amulet gives me two vampiric and 20 health right off the bat. So that helps. 
I've got six left. We'll hold those over till next round. Well, they start off with a, that person started off with a lot of um, armor. Come on, Tarkus. Wow. It was that one weapon that guy was using that was just screwing me up. All right, let's just pull the cord. There's some bag space there. I'll grab this potion. Uh, I got 10 left. Oh, pineapple, definitely. Uh, we'll put the pineapple up here. Put this there. I've got two left. Yeah, those pineapples are nice because they do the, the spike buff, plus they heal me. So I've already got four spikes, six spikes, seven spike, eight, 10 spike. So that means every time they hit me, they do more damage. Because of the spikes. All right, so I, now I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna buy this heal potion, stick it in there. And I'm pretty much got a full, I got a full inventory of stuff. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I want to swap out. She's uh, let's just pull the cord here and see what we get. I mean, I don't, I've got this one spot open that I don't have something in. Oh, here, I can do it with that right there. Boom. <laughs> oh, what that gains me. Okay, I can do this, I can do that. I can put this up here. I put this up, put this up here. Cause it wants to merge this, uh, this mushroom into this flask to make it a beefier flask. But I don't think, I think this is the last round. I think this is the last, last round of the whole process here. Usually the last guy can never be cause they're just impossible. But because I've got one life left, I think that, yeah, that was the last round. So I had one life left, so I made it. So I got 20 points towards my platinum rating by basically surviving until the end. And that's really the game, guys. Now, the thing is, is each time you play, it's different. And it depends on what the store gives you depends on how you put your bag together depends on how you use the buffs with each other depends on how you craft items and other items so it's all going to be a different game every time you play i've had a good time playing this game you can go to uh, the steam the buttons here and uh and uh check it out for the full version of the game but it's definitely worth playing i i find it very enjoyable and very fun all right, well, thank you for joining me, and this has been the Tarkus Zone.